Hello, my name is Tristan Richmond. I'm a senior studying computer engineering and I'm the electrical co-lead. The objective for PICO was to build a small, inexpensive, and easily reproducible electrical system. The system also serves as a minimalistic platform for teaching new incoming members the essential building blocks of an AUV's electrical system without the intimidation of multiple PCBs. Therefore, our electrical system is centered around a single motherboard PCB, which handles the majority of the electrical operations. This includes sensor data acquisition, the kill switch, communication with the battery, battery monitoring, and power management. I'm John Michel Vivas, Mechatronics Electrical Team Project Manager, junior at SDSU, and my major is Electrical Engineering. Small and inexpensive sensors were used to provide important data for the vehicle decision-making and control system. The Blue Robotics Depth Sensor is a high-resolution sensor that is used to measure depth up to 10 meters. The IMU implements onboard sensor fusion for the specific force and angular rate data that is critical for the software and control systems. Also included on the electrical system are the DC to DC converters which step down DC voltage from the battery into regulated 5 volt and 3.3 volt output rails. A PMOS based power switch is a critical safety feature on the vehicle which gives the divers as well as software the necessary ability to control whenever power is connected to thrusters. The power switch is able to handle pulses of current up to 50 amps. It also has the capability to just adjust turn on speed and inrush current by adding simple components to the circuit. Hello, my name is Blake Jackson and I'm a senior majoring in electrical engineering and I am on the electrical team. Voltage and current measurement of the LiPo battery provides us real-time power monitoring of the system, which is useful feedback. This feedback can be used to optimize the vehicle's operation with respect to power consumption. For example, optimal control algorithms using the feedback can be designed to maximize longevity of operation. The battery monitoring system is also a safety feature, which notifies the vehicle operator when a battery must be swapped out. The vehicle's small footprint limits room for waterproof I.O. placement. Therefore, the inside of the vehicle has a magnetic proximity sensor used to sense the kill slash safety switch and autonomy wand. Using a magnetic autonomy wand, the user can toggle between the AUV's autonomy and idle states. Hi, I'm Ian Reichert on the software team, soon to be senior at San Diego State University, majoring in computer science. The tasks we will be attempting at RoboSub are the buoy mission, the gate mission, and the octagon mission. There are other missions available, but we have specifically chosen these because these three missions are the most likely to be completable given our sub's capabilities. Our sub was designed such that anyone could make one from components found at a place like Home Depot. We thus made compromises on capabilities that had a level of scope beyond what a single person could reasonably build themselves in a semester. We first begin by getting detections at around 5 feet in our video benchmark, since everything is about 5 feet away from the transect. We then have a confidence detection in our video based on real-life detection using a camera. This confidence is measured by multiple algorithms being used for detection one being able to detect the gate without using a neural net, and the other being a trained neural net running simultaneously. Uh, hello, my name is Jimmy. I am a senior at San Diego State University majoring in computer science, and I'm a member of the software team designing this vehicle. Uh, in order to satisfy social distancing guidelines, we have maintained a no contact policy during the bulk of competition season, doing our entire development process online via Zoom. In this capacity, we have developed a custom simulator using the Gazebo software suite. The purpose of this design is to emulate the underwater physics of the vehicle and emulate the hardware of the vehicle as well. The purpose is to increase our testing efficiency. By providing a simulated environment, that can be used by any software member. Let's explore different kinds of algorithms by running them against a virtual set of obstacles. And in the corner, we have a GIF um, taken from the simulation, just meant to um, give a visual of the um, simulation process. 
Hello, my name is Somer. I am a junior at San Diego State. I'm majoring in computer engineering, and I am a member of the software team designing this vehicle. So we have two major testing efforts. The first effort includes running full system tests using simulation and sensor data to verify the control system. This effort also includes a number of test benches to verify the sensor data path as it propagates through the software system. Our second effort will be in person. Our test efforts coincide with local standards for COVID-19 reopening plans in the County of San Diego. We intend to run full system tests using physical hardware and verify integrity of sensor and power systems, as well as higher level algorithms that run on computer vision systems during this physical testing campaign. Following the conclusion of these efforts, we will assign confidence to the sub-capability in an in-person robo-sub-competition.